My role, my mission in life is to teach and show senior people in business how it is possible to live and perform better, but crucially for longer, simply by how they take better care of themselves. It's what we call gaining the wealthy body. obvious and clear that somebody who is not in great shape, who is not on top of their health game, is not going to be able to withstand the pressures, the stress, uh, the enormity of those roles, the key roles that, are, that, that, that they're lining themselves up for, regardless of how bright they are from the neck up, if they're not in shape from the neck down. Let me ask you a question. If you were hiring yourself tomorrow, what are the skill set features that you'd be looking for? Do all those things have in common? They all happen from the neck up. Right? They all happen from the neck up in your brain. So many times people think that that's all that matters. And then what goes on from the neck down it doesn't matter. But there is a connection. Your brain is an organ of the body exactly the same as your lungs, liver, kidney, heart, everything else. And if you're not taking the very best care of those organs in your body, you're not taking very good care of your brain. See, if your posture collapses and you slump, you can't even draw a full lung full of air. So to stay energized, to stay alert, to stay engaged in your working day, to keep your brain uh, fueled with the right supply of oxygen, you need to be in reasonably good shape. So I need three volunteers. Now here's a very important lesson in life. This is another hardy draw. It's not up on the screen, so listen to this. Never, ever, ever, hardly ever sit in the front row of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Caffeine probably be responsible for more low productivity in the workplace than anything else. You can see a line of people down the footpath waiting to buy their cup of coffee in the morning. These are people who have no energy of their own that they have to buy it in a cup. But second of all, it's his aiming device. So if he finds that his aim is off target, all he has to do is adjust the sighting device here by a number of little clicks. If you want to make a real difference to that long view, it's not the bad strategies that count, it's the little clicks that you put into your lifestyle every day. Click, 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 click. And at the end of 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, where your health position is a com in a completely different place, you will definitely notice a difference. <laughs> this photo was taken outside what we call a DFO, or dreadful food outlet. <laughs> I didn't know they made tandem mobility scooters. <laughs> Four couples who obviously got the same disease at the same time. These people are not immobilized, they're not disabled, they're lazy. And where you see the biggest numbers of these are outside DFOs and pubs and bingo halls. There's nothing wrong with the people riding them, they just become lazy. That they've forgotten that maybe, maybe their legs are just painted on. I don't know. <laughs> And as human beings, that is just wrong. I've spoken at a great many conferences all around the world, both public conferences, exhibitions, conventions, corporate events and off-sites, and also even medical conferences. And I have to say that one of the key things that I hear from the conference organizers and the meeting planners time and time again is, what slot can we put you in? Because the biggest fear they have, or the one they're most afraid of, is the after lunch spot. And I've got to tell you, here's some good news. I love the after lunch spot. That is my key area. That is where I really shine and engage with your audience. Because when I come on after lunch, I can inject energy into there. I can do so in an entertaining and a provocative way that gets them sitting up in their seats, that gets them thinking, that gets them laughing, that gets them working through problems in their head they hadn't even thought about before. So at the end of my session, they are more energized, more engaged, more switched on and mentally ready for whatever else the afternoon has planned than they were even before they sat down. And so the after lunch spot is the key place that you can put me with confidence that you know we're going to get your audience switched on for the afternoon's learning.